before, star of the new Broadway comedy hit, Never Too Late. I'm supposed to talk to you about cars. But first, let me tell you about a revolt we had in the family. Two years ago, relatives persuaded my wife and I to get one of those flashy, compact cars. Well, what bum advice that was. It rode us in all the splendor of canned sardines. It was noisy and jouncy. Well, you know what I mean. Let's face it. I get all the excitement I need at work. Driving home at night, I want to relax and be comfortable. When Nell takes the car for shopping, she doesn't want to wriggle like a snake getting in and out of it. Six months ago, I staged a firm revolt, got rid of the compact, and got me the finest car I've ever seen. It's not a big car. Neither of us like headaches in parking or handling them in traffic. But it's got all the comforts of home. Doors you can get through without squashing your hat. Room to sit in. Flat floors so you don't trip. And little things. A dashboard with instruments instead of flashing lights. And a built-in vanity case for Nell. Not a compact. It's too comfortable. It's not a big car. It's too convenient. But I'll tell you, it's the first really sensible job I've seen. And I like the power it's got to get you there, too. Funny thing, now everybody's telling us how glad they are we took their advice. Uh, Mr. Ford, uh, what was the name of the car? Oh, sorry. The Lark. Great car. Go to your Studebaker dealer if you haven't seen one recently. Nothing like it. <laughs>